Hello, my people. Hello. What's up, Welcome my little back. Muppet minions? How we doing? Little Muppet minions. Yeah. I like that. We are back. Um, before we start this, I got another comment recently saying that they thought they were subscribed to the channel, and they checked below and they weren't. So, do me a favor, check below, look at the subscription button, make sure you're subscri subscribed, if you even like us. Um, some Hopefully of you guys do. do. Hopefully you guys do. And uh, hit the notification bell, too. It'll let you know when the videos drop. So there's always that, too. But just double check because this is uh, another time I've seen a comment where somebody thought they were subscribed. And they weren't. I guess YouTube's shaving people off. Um, I guess they do that. Um, what was the other thing I was going to talk about before we get into this? I don't know, but I forgot we were starting in Season 3, so I'm really excited for that. Yeah. Season three. Oh, if you uh, don't like the pauses or the talking, there's always the original video in the description below. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there's... Does that like amaze you that people get upset about that? Yeah. 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 Sorry, it we're does. pausing. I mean, it's you know, it's either I pause it a lot or uh, I have to cut some stuff. Yeah. It's one of the oh, one yeah. or the other. I didn't think about that. Especially either. with these ones, it's one or the other usually. Yeah. <clears throat> But uh, anyway, we're getting into season three for the Inbetweeners. This one is called the Fashion Show, and <gasps> oh, apparently, this is the about. notorious one. Yes, that everybody. I've seen this all over the comments. Yeah, so. everybody oh, has been talking about this one. They've been talking about this one since we were still on season season mm -hmm. one. Yeah, so very excited. it like better be live up funny. to the hype. I'm telling you, Muppets, <laughs> that right now. No, I kid it. But uh, <clears throat> none of these episodes ever let us down. No. So I'm expecting to uh, to either be on the bed or on the floor. Yeah, I'm or, expecting or my cheeks the to chair's gonna, very bad. The chair is definitely going to squeak. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and you guys voted to keep the squeak, which is kind of weird, but <clears throat> hey, I put up the vote. It was a close one, though. Yeah. It was 54% to 46. Yeah, I in, like in it. In favor of keeping the squeak. It's an aesthetic. So, yeah. But here we go. This is the fashion show on the Inbetweeners. We love this show. Here we go, ladies and gents. Yeah. Our favorite song. What song? Yeah! Neil's still dancing. All right. <clears throat> I wonder if we're going to see them look a little older now since it's a new season. Maybe. My name is Will McKenzie, and my first year in state education has been an unqualified success. And by unqualified, I mean I failed all my exams. That said, I have made three oh, friends. He did? Yep, three whole friends in one year. And they're the sort of friends everyone can can't show that. that, is that is so oh tragic, my god. They almost make someone like me. Feisty one, you are. <laughs> <laughs> But things were going to be different this year. For one, Jay could now drive, meaning we had a choice of which shit embarrassing car we got to lift to school in. Simon's was more yellow, but Jay's was more dangerous. Morning, Benders. Jump in the Minge Mobile. Straight into Corey Mom's car. <laughs> I love Jay. Jay driving us to school well, really did make it feel like royalty. Breakup. Unfortunately, the royalty I felt like was Princess Diana. Found him out, Jay! Oh, uh, give way to the fucking left! Stupid old bint. I think it's the right, mate. Is it? What did he say? Stupid old what? Like, was Princess Diana. Round about, Jay! Uh, give way to the fucking left! Stupid old bint. I think it's the right, mate. Is it? Oh, wait, yeah, that does sound familiar. Bint? What's that in your ear? Oh, it's a piercing. It's just a stud for now, but my dad's minding me a diamond to put in it. Cool. Hang on, have you had the left ear pierced? Yes. Uh oh. Isn't that the one you get pierced to show you're gay? Fuck off! Oh, yeah, that is the gay one. Well, there's a quick way to tell, Neil. Which ears your dad got yeah, pierced? Neither, because he's not bent. Of course not. Well, which ears gay? Or oh, I'm the last person to ask. I thought you knew everything. <laughs> well, I don't know any men who have had their ears pierced, because I went to a private school. Why have you had that done anyway? Oh, I like to keep my look fresh. Plus, I'll probably need it for the fashion show tomorrow. Oh, yes, the school charity fashion show. I had, um, originally I had the, not the left one, the right one. Did you? The right one pierced. You're a little pirate. Yeah. And then, um, a year later, one of my friends was looking at it, and he's like, I'm sick of you having one ear pierced, bro. And then he, he pierced, <laughs> he pierced, pierced the other one himself, yeah. I feel like everyone has, like, a pierced your own ear story. Yeah. 
Well, like, uh, the first, the original one I got, it was the guy with the gun. Yeah. You know. What do you pierce it with? A needle? Like a... Yeah, like some kind of, like some small sewing needle or something. Yeah. Don't ask me where he got it. I didn't know he was into sewing, but apparently... Very very safe. He was tired of looking at the, uh, at the one earring, so... Where only people deemed good-looking enough by other good-looking people get to take part and raise money. Well, there's going to be special guests. Special guests? Oh, I wonder who that's going to be. Maybe Beyonce and Jay-Z, the Obamas. Look, I don't give a shit what you think about it, because when I'm up there modelling, I'll have my pick of the snatch. Everyone knows that male models get all the pussy. I didn't know they asked you to model, Jay. Well, I haven't yet. I haven't asked anyone. I think they have. Well, I'm telling you they haven't, because no one's asked me. But it's tomorrow. Are you deaf? I've not been asked. I'll be the first in line for any modelling work. Look at me. Well, I've been asked. Fuck off! Carly's one of the organisers and she's asked me to model. You? Who wants a model that looks like a spotty baby crossed with the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> Statue of Liberty? <laughs> I don't know why I really like that in the I do too. I do too. Do it one more well, time. I've been asked. Fuck off! Carly's one of the organisers and she's asked me to model. You? Who wants a model that looks like a spotty baby crossed with the <laughs> Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty? His hair. Oh, yeah. It was hard to know where Jay got the idea. <laughs> That's of true, his hair does yeah. It seemed like it just stemmed from a sense of thinking Simon was spectacularly ugly. Seriously, what clothes are you going to look better on you than me? Apart from a paper bag for your fucking head. Brilliant. Should we give it a rest now, Jay? Good morning! Shut up and let's get this over with. <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Cartwright, what is that? It's a stud, sir. I don't mean the earring. <laughs> Take it out, or I will rip it out. But what about my human rights? You have to be human for those to apply, Carl. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Yo, I love Mr. Gray. Oh, he is great. <laughs> now, all right, I'm sure that most of you will remember Alistair Scott. Yes, sir, the I don't. You sat next to him in registration for four years. Oh, Alistair. Yeah, well, thankfully, Alistair Scott is dead. Oh, thank God. Thank God. You sat next to him in registration for four years. Oh, Alistair. Well, thankfully, after a tough <laughs> year, they found a donor and he's finally on the mend. In preparation for his return to school, he's coming in at lunchtime to answer any questions you may have about his illness and... Yes, Sutherland. Can I catch it? No. You cannot catch kidney failure. Aww. Mackenzie, my office. Ten minutes. <laughs> What's Gilbert want? Probably wants me to act as a chaperone for that Alistair kid. Poor guy. Imagine what he's been through. He's a dick. Jay? What? He is a dick. I never liked him when he was well, I never liked him when he was ill, and I don't like him now, he's getting better. Simples. Oh, he was all right. Oh, he wasn't. He was a complete bell end. He was worse than briefcase. Thanks very much. Look, he's had a hugely traumatic time. Maybe he's changed. He's not going to have got more interested in an hospital bed attached to a drip for a year, is he? What a sympathetic view of a life-threatening illness. And he used to stink. No, I'm not going. Oh, come on, Jay, there might be sausage rolls. Why would there be sausage rolls? We had sausage rolls when my nan died. He's not dead, Neil, isn't he? But he still might have sausage rolls, though. Fine, fuck it, I'll come. I'm warning ya, he's a dick. If Jay thought Alistair was a dick... <clears throat> the, uh... I was wondering why... Why does Will always have a jacket on? The other three guys always dress up kind of the same. Yeah. I mean, Jay doesn't have the sweater on, but he... Well, he I bet he has it. Well, private school, so I think that's how he thinks he's supposed to, like, dress. Eh, maybe. They probably know. Why is yes, Will wearing a jacket? Know. Why are the other Muppets not... That's what I, I that's think what it's I because he know. thinks he's fancy. Okay. He was almost certainly a nice bloke. Unlike Mr. Gilbert. Want to see me, sir? Want is an overstatement. I'm putting you in charge of collecting the money for tomorrow's fashion show. The last time they had a collection for charity, nearly half the money went missing, and then the organisers started turning up in new trainers. Well, hmm. sir, whilst I'm really pleased that you think I'm trustworthy enough to... Oh, it's not that. I just know that if anything did happen, I could break you. Right. <laughs> Well, the thing is, I object to the fashion show on a moral level. I'm sorry. It's not about raising money. It's a popularity parade. It's just the self-elected attractive people using charities as an excuse to show off. Well, this is a first. As it happens, Mackenzie, I agree with you. You do? Yes. Great. So you understand why I'd rather not compromise my principles? Yes, I do. Totally. Unfortunately for you, it's not the First World War. You can't conscientiously object. <laughs> so, you either collect the money or it's detention. Starting now and continuing indefinitely. But, Jeez. you said you agreed with me. Yes, I know. It's a tricky one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, I'll do it. But I'm still exercising my right to protest. Good. Just make sure it's not a dirty protest like the last one. <laughs> Just as a stopped clock gives the correct time twice a day. <laughs> you get that one, yeah. You're pretty damn shitting yourself. That was wild. Oh my god! That would have been one of the funniest that things I've ever be. seen if they didn't have those uh, those noises in there. 
Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, those yeah. noises, yeah. Those, it made it too real. Yeah, it made it nightmarish. Nightmarish. Once a term, Neil gets something right. Told you there'd be sausage rolls. Look at him. Fucking milking it. Jay? He's in a wheelchair. He was always a bit lazy, though. I don't think it's that, Neil. Why is Carly finding him so funny? I mean, what can he be saying that's so funny? He was never funny. Um, excuse me, everyone. Quiet. I, I want to talk. I no. wanted to say okay. super thanks to everyone who's given up their time to take part in the fashion show tomorrow to raise money for a new dialysis machine for St. Margaret's. Especially all the sexy girls. <laughs> what was that? That was so cringy. <laughs> Stop. That was so cringy. Look at that again. Given up their time to take part in the fashion show tomorrow to raise money for a new dialysis machine for St. Margaret's. Especially all the sexy girls. <laughs> well, nobody told me we was raising money for that twat. Might think twice about modelling tomorrow now. You're not modelling anyway. Oh, it's going to be a gasherama. I'm going to try getting a job helping out backstage, so that way I get to see some close-up flange, but for charity. Hey, Simon. You come to the rehearsal after school? Yeah, of course. How much rehearsal does it take to walk up and down in a straight line wearing clothes? And it's more for timings and stuff, really. Do you need any helpers, Carly? Oh, brilliant, we do, actually. Hardly anyone has volunteered, and we really need people to help get the models dressed. Christ, well, neither are stupid. <laughs> Can't they even dress themselves? It's for the quick changes, actually. Rip one outfit off and another one on. If you're sure you don't mind me. <laughs> I'm joking. What? Did he see Jay? He's trying to get him to notice the stuff. I know. Here. <laughs> what a muppet. Aww. Oh, God. Great, thanks. Hey, guys. Everybody cool? Hi, I'm Will, by the way. I'm relatively new. Are you the kid who shit himself in the exam? <laughs> Me too. Now, I was wondering if you and I could have a little chat about some other ways to raise money. Ways that could include everyone, the whole school, whatever they look like. Oh, yeah, could do. Only you're not as pretty as Carly, so I think right now I'm going to go and chat to her, yeah. See ya. Carly! Carly! Ooh, dick. You don't think him and Carly are... Nah. Nah. If they are, I bet he's really good at it. Brilliant. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love Neil. Uh, he is becoming my favorite. I love him. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Oh. I have to go. I've got this call from Ralph Lauren. Didn't even ring, did it? Oh, I'm well excited. Imagine the birds I'm going to get to see as a dresser. It's not top international models, Neil. It's just a load of the girls from school that you see every day. Yeah, but I think I'd fancy him a lot more if I saw him naked. I'll say this for Neil. At least his ambitions were simple. See tits and or fanny. Jay's were a lot more unrealistic. Um, Carly, can I have a word? I'm a bit busy. What's up? I was just wondering if you needed any more models for tomorrow. No, we are not. <laughs> good, good. I don't know if you noticed, but I've had my ear pierced. Oh, right. So do you think you can fit one more in now? Well, no, because you've only got a certain amount of clothes. Well, I could wear my own clothes. We're probably okay. So I'm like first reserve then? Well, we haven't really got any reserves, so sort of no. Cool, cool, cool. Simples. How about a free ticket instead? Well, it's for charity, so there aren't really any free tickets. Yeah, it's a nice one, Carl. Uh, I'll catch you later. So Jay had a five zero <laughs> chance of becoming a model. But Simon was practicing hard. Simon's my best friend. Oh, this God. bloke is my best friend. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> I was caught off guard by that. <laughs> he got so angry. He's spying on me. He's spying. Is that how you get your kicks? It's all right. It's just I think we found the new David Beckham. Right. That's it. That is it. I'm sick of you people. I'm leaving. You're not going out now. You've got school tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, run away at the weekend when you got your car back. Well, I'm not spending another second in this house with you utter twats. <laughs> oh, Where are you geez. going? Paris or Milan? Fuck off! <laughs> He's just like Naomi Campbell. <laughs> <It was so, laughs> you utter twat! <laughs> Aww. He got so angry. Oh, you know how much I love angry people. I know, you love it. It's your favorite. So Simon was well on his way to... He's jumping a fence, he's that man. Yeah. Going on the roof. Bulimia and a cocaine addiction. And I realized in my role as doorman, I had the perfect well, let me, uh, to ruin let me see what... model. He had the temperament, now all he needed was bulimia and a cocaine addiction. <laughs> now all he needed was bulimia. The next sight was the fashion show. And I realized in my role as doorman, I had the perfect opportunity to ruin everything for everyone. I'm not saying don't give to charity. Do give to charity. I'm just saying you can give without supporting this egotistical vanity fest. My daughter is one of the models. 
then you failed her. Five pounds, please. Wow! Wow! Oh my god, I love that. Oh. Hello. Hello. Well, I think it's so great that you're helping out. I knew you'd come round. I don't come round. I still feel exactly the same about this sham popularity parade. You're being such an ass. What is wrong with you? Alistair nearly died. God. Carly, what did you say to her? Nothing. Maybe a small dose of the truth? Will, seriously, you have to stop cock-blocking with all this principled shit. Simon, if Nelson Mandela hadn't stood up for his beliefs, where would we be now? We wouldn't have Nelson's column for a start. Yes, we would. <laughs> I better rub piss before this starts. And a post eye. What have you done? Just want to know, look. What the oh f my god! Okay. Oh no. my god! Look at Neil, he loves it. Of course he He's does. all about it. Holy hell. We wouldn't have Nelson's column for a start. Yes, we would. I better rub piss before this starts. And a post eye. What have you done? Just want to look. What, the Pat Butcher look? I'd say more Pirates of the Caribbean. Exactly. <laughs> if the pirate shopped at Matalan. Yeah, well, you won't be laughing when I'm getting all the pussy because I'm up on the catwalk. You're not going to be on the catwalk. You are modelling. On first reserve. What, in case the models fancy themselves so much they actually eat themselves? Oh, you would if you could, though. What? <laughs> Suck yourself off. That's not what I meant. Yeah, but I bet you've tried it. We all have. Oh, I managed to lick the tip once, but it took a lot of stretching. Twice a day for a couple of weeks. Well, thanks for sharing, Neil. Right. What? Suck yourself off. That's not what I meant. Yeah, but I bet you've tried it. We all have. Oh, I managed to lick the tip once, but it took a lot of stretching. Twice a day for a couple of weeks. Well, thanks for sharing. <laughs> I have no words. Is Neil still your favourite? Oh, no. <laughs> he he no. just went a couple of rungs down on my <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on my meter. Good lord. Sharon Neil. Right, I've got to go. I'm desperate for a piss. Neil may have had dirty stretching powers, but what he really needed was X-ray vision. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's a curtain. Where's all the birds? I thought it'd be wall to wall poons hanging here. Presumably they're on the other side of the curtain. Well, why have they done that? We can't see them getting undressed now. For that exact reason, Neil. Oh, fucking bollocks. That's a spanner to my plan. There's got to be a hole. Come on, you're going to be getting my clothes ready. Yeah, I think this is a little bit more important. You ready to go here, Simon? Uh, yeah, nearly ready. Great. We're having an after party in the common room later. Mark Donovan's got some booze, so you'll come to that, yeah? Oh, yeah, obviously. Amazing. I was washing my hands and it splashed back onto my lap. <laughs> Why would it work? Make sure that everything is the wrong way, yeah? I'm really... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, you got a wet spot. Whoops. Oh, no. Is that your phone? Did I just hear your phone? Yeah, phone. Oh, no. I think I'm actually going to get rid of the squeak because it's starting to bother me. Is it? Like, the squeak's worse than ever, and it's like, uh... It's so loud. Yeah, like before you had to lean back more for yeah. it to speak. Now it just, yeah. And it it's like a, it's like an angry squeak this time. It's yeah. like, give me some fucking WB-40. <laughs> well, we might still have that. Yeah. What was it? Squeak beyond? I have no idea. Is it was it basically the same as WB-40, though. Did public? you just say squeak be gone? Yeah. <laughs> You're adorable. You know that? That's what I would name it. Oh, my God. Yeah, but I gotta do something about this. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> I was washing my hands and it splashed back onto my lap. It's fine. Just make sure that everything is spotless the wrong way, yeah? I'm really sorry. It's okay. I've got to run. There's still a million things to deal with. Oh, Neil, do you know which boys are dressing? Boys? I thought I was dressing the girls. <laughs> no, of course not. You and Mr. Kennedy are dressing the boys. You're the only volunteers. See you later. Oh no. <laughs> oh! Peter oh, Kennedy. No, Mr. Kennedy. Of space, you better hang the clothes on the end of his erect cock. So, no naked girls for. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's got to work with the pedo teacher guy. Who loves him? Yeah. Neil, just a sexual predator in a waistcoat. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, I was having difficulty convincing proud parents to join my boycott. Charity, not vanity! Hi, stranger. Charlotte. Hi. Charlotte. Here. Yeah, good spot. Yes. Ha! No, I mean, what are you doing here? 
Well, I had a reading week, so I thought I'd come home. Didn't know this was your sort of thing. You know, fashion. Oh, it's not. I think it's shit and everyone taking part in it is a vain, talentless twat. I'm in it. Apart from you. I'm, I'm maybe sorry. <laughs> Why did no one tell me you're in it? Well, I didn't know if I could make it, so they put me down as like a special guest or something really embarrassing, just because I once did some catalogue modelling. Underwear? No. You are going to come watch me though, aren't you? Even though I'm a talentless twat. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no, no, I was only joking about that. Oh, yeah, no, I'm really behind this whole thing, taking the money, helping set it up. Why are you trying to ruin this event, Mackenzie? Good timing. Do you think kidney patients like me should die? Is that it? Nah, come on, mate. That's a bit extreme. Is he trying to stop you coming in, too? Seems pretty healthy to me, talking all that shit. I don't think he'd make up a whole disease. Yeah, well, he still shouldn't be a dick. Especially mm -hmm. if, it, if all this is... Dick. Especially when all this, they're doing all this for you, pal. Yeah. I want to, <laughs> like, I want to insult him. He's making me angry. I know, he's being kind of, he's yeah. being a dick. No, I'm one of the models. Oh, you must be Charlotte. Oh, wow, so Rooney. <laughs> Are you okay, aware this week was trying to stop people giving money to charity? Well? No, that's not entirely correct. Look, Alistair, why don't we go have a chat about this somewhere different, eh? No, let's talk about it here. What's my request? See you later, Charlotte. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to wheel me away? This thing's got brakes, you know, you can't just roll me off. You're trying to sabotage this event. I won't stand for you. <laughs> 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 you okay? Are you okay? I love that song. <laughs> I don't think I've seen you laugh that hard. Oh. 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 oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> Wait, what did this kid say again, though? Stop people giving money to charity. Well? No, that's not entirely correct. Look, Alistair, why don't we go have a chat about this somewhere different, eh? No, let's talk about it here. What's my request? <laughs> See you later, Charlotte. What are you doing? Are you trying to wheel me away? <laughs> this thing's going to break you, you can't just roll me off. You're trying to sabotage oh, this event. Him. I won't stand for it. I won't stand for it. I won't stand it. I won't stand for it. You can't handle that, can you? Dude, <laughs> she's dead. She's dead. Charity. Well? No, that's not entirely correct. Look, Alistair, why don't we go have a chat about this somewhere different, eh? <laughs> no, let's talk about it here. What's my request? See you later, Charlotte. What are you doing? Are you trying to wheel me away? This thing's got brakes, you know. You can't just roll me off. You're trying to sabotage this event. I won't stand for it. I won't stand for it. I won't stand for it. I won't stand This is my special day. You're trying to ruin it. I'm gonna go and get ready. <laughs> I think I got away with that. Brilliant. No, of course Brilliant. I haven't got away with it. Backstage, Simon's big moment oh almost arrived, and Neil didn't give a shit. Oh. Neil, can you give me a hand, please? Oh, mate, this is like torture. I spent the last week thinking about the snatches back there. I'm in a rush, Neil. I reckon Sarah Bell's got lovely big nipples, and I bet Joe Larkin shaves her pubes. We can't hear you, you pervert. Who said that? It's one of your characters. We can hear everything you're saying. Shit. He's really sorry. I recognise one of those voices. It's Simon Cooper. Do something, Neil. How big are Sarah Bell's nipples? Right, that's it. I'm getting the tea. Shit! Thanks, Neil. Good job. <laughs> All right, Eve San Laponce, what's going on here then? Neil's getting shit. They put a curtain up so we can't see the plunge. It's totally sexist. Ah, the crafty fuckers. They tried this when we did the school play. We just cut a hole in the curtain and stuck our knobs for it. It was well only. We was getting noshed off in between scenes. We can. Do you think it was going to still hear you? <laughs> yeah. It's totally sexist. <laughs> ah, the crafty fuckers. They tried this when we did the school play. We just cut a hole in the curtain and stuck our knobs for it. It was well only. We was getting noshed off in between scenes. We can still hear you. And that never happened. Simon, you're on, hun. It's models only back here. Yeah, but look. Two. The left one looks affected. Please hurry up, Simon, you're on next. <laughs> Someone just help me with my fucking couplings, please. Oh, my precious, I'll help you. If you haven't got a mom in 30 seconds, I'm going out there in your place. Oh, you girl know. said there was some sort of problem back. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we better get you out of these clothes. But, sir, I'm not modeling. Oh. You should be. 
So as Neil Hart <laughs> the advances of a man who it seemed incredible the school continued to employ, the world's least stylish fashion show got underway. Our first collection's theme is Glamorous Nights, and is put together, in correct tense, by Carly D'Amato. Modelling, that should be two L's, these gorgeous <laughs> outfits are the equally gorgeous, Christ, who wrote this? Stephen DeBell, Richard Murray and Simon Cooper. Modeling shows always creep me out. Why? <clears throat> I've never been to one. But, you know, you see, like, snippets of them on, like, mm -hmm. TV adverts or, you know, <clears throat> things like that. And it's just, I, I, don't, I just don't get it. No. Of course, this is come out, coming from somebody who just wears goofy t-shirts. I'm not really so, a fashion person either, so. It's like. I get it. Yeah. <clears throat> and a lot of the times they have some weird shit they're wearing. They were, yeah, they were, like, exaggerated versions of what they would yeah. sell in stores. Like, I remember one time, like, they were, like, check, a commercial came on, it's like, check out the new fashion of this, and the person looked like, looked like a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> and I'm like, why would anybody want to wear that? Is that the new thing? To, yeah. To look like you just got delivered from Papa John's? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't get, get high-end fashion like yeah. that. I don't. Mackenzie. But like my high school a couple times, they did like a fashion show, but all the clothes they got from a thrift store, which I think they're kind of like doing, which was, I thought cool because it showed you how to like put together cute outfits with like clothes you got from a thrift store. Yeah. <clears throat> it's still weird to me. But. You try anything like that again, I, will. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Is that meant to be a joke about the chair? I can walk, you know, I just get tired easy. No, 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 it's not that. I think we just differ on ways to raise money. I happen to think that this is exclusive and about vanity. And I happen to think you're a wanker! It's my favourite chair, is it? Uh, even in this chair, I could kick your ass. I could kick your ass right in! Ow! <laughs> Let's not make a <laughs> seat. Come on! Hey! You meant to! It is mental! Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm supposed to be modeling with Paul Keenan, but he got so nervous he drank a bottle of vodka and passed out in the staff toilets. Please, we take his place. Me? Um, he won't do it. He thinks it's exclusive vanity. Right. No, he's talking shit. It's the painkillers. Of course I'll do it. Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so desperate for some. Oh my god! He's so desperate for some what? Plunge. Yep. <laughs> he really is. You hypocrite! Oh, okay, right you, time for sleep. Don't touch me! Don't Come on! Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine, he gets very grumpy when he's tired. Yes, this is going really well. <laughs> Amazingly, no cock up so far. Oh, well done, you've mastered walking like a knob and looking like a dick at the same time. <laughs> this is actually enjoyable. In an I'm shitting myself kind of way. If you shit yourself in them trousers, I ain't touching them. Of course I haven't. You walk like you have. Neil, quick, I need help getting dressed. You are dressed? No, dressed into something else. This, for the fashion show. I'm modeling in the fashion show. Well, that's not happening, I'm first reserve. No, no way. What's up with you? I thought this was the worst sort of vanity. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. Somebody pulled out and Charlotte asked me to fill in. So give me the clothes. All oh, right, now it makes sense. One flash of Charlotte's tits and your morals go out the window. <laughs> yeah. Later, after I get these fucking jeans on. God, they're tight. I mean, it can't be comfortable to walk around in jeans this tight every day, can it? Yeah, let me help. This is fucking banging out of order. On first reserve! It was me Charlotte wanted. <laughs> why does Jay want to do this so bad? Because. Because why? Because he cares about what people think, obviously. That's why he says he gets clunge on the regular. What? I'm glad I didn't have to coax you into saying it that time. I am, like, actually fine with that word because I've never used it. You know what word I don't like to say. Twat? I don't like that word. No? Why not? I find with twat. I don't like the other word. How we say it? The wa. Yeah. Twat. I hate that word. Hate it. Hate it. Hate twat. it. Hate it. Hate it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Time out. Turn the chair around. Time out. Yes, dear. I did not appreciate that face when you said that. She chose me. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Yeah, well, they'll be sorry. I'll show them. Come on, by mask to show them or futile gesture to show them. Whatever's worse. Um, Neil. You just brush my penis there. Yeah. 
That's the second time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> of course, the only reason I've taken part in fashion shows is to get my penis crushed. <clears throat> but by Charlotte, not Neil. Oh, why don't we get ready so quickly? Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look, I just wanted to say, I'm really pleased you picked me. It means a lot. Didn't have a choice, really, did I? Didn't you? No, we had to find someone to fit the clothes, and I was like, who do we know that's really short? Oh. And then, obviously, I thought of you. Is that really the reason? No, not really. They let me choose who I wanted, and I chose you. Oh, thanks, Charlotte. Although it did have to be someone short. Right. And the next theme is... 70s disco. Oh, brilliant. What? What? Nothing. What? He was really, oh, hell. He was really uh, <laughs> into the finger stuff. Oh, <laughs> <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. She's oh, the sweet so so bad. Bad. I'm getting rid of this baby. Oh, fucking hell, I lost. Simon, I mean, there's been a slight change of plan. Chris Yates is meant to be wearing this for my sexy finale, but he's just taken off his shirt, and his bag is disgustingly hairy, so I sacked him. I thought this was for charity. You know when you get loads of hair caught around the plug hole in the bath and it gets all matted and wet? Yeah. yeah, well, his back looked like that. Nearly made me vomit, so he sacked. Anyway, it means that I need you to wear this instead for the sexy finale. Are they speedos? Simon, you've been brilliant all night. Plus, you've got a great body. Please, for me? Of oh. course. Thanks. See you out there. You've got one minute. This is so fucking unfair. So I'm not even a second reserve now. Who's she going to ask next? Big job. Well, do you want to wear the speedos? No. <laughs> oh, what's the point? <laughs> ah. Oh, mate, your ear don't look great. It's covered in pus. Oh! oh fucking hell, I better get this looked at. Good luck, boner. Try not to get a stippy in them speedos. He's right, you're in trouble, Si. I nearly shot me bolt just looking at her, and all she was doing was standing there being moany. No, did you hear what she said? She thinks I've got a great body. If I could just do this one thing for her, who knows what could happen? I know. You'll get a boner in front of the whole school, and in speedos, there is no hide in it. Trust me. I said it a couple of minutes. I can do it. You should I can do this. Simon, are you ready yet? Can you give me a hand? No, no. Yeah? I haven't worn a speedo. I think you're agreeing with Neil. You're like, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just, I was like, he's, <laughs> Neil's actually thinking logically for once. Yeah. He's actually right. That's probably what's going to happen. <coughs> we saw a lot of speedos in Greece. Did you notice did. that? Yeah. Nah, you're all right. Simon! No, she's already on the one. That was so amazing, so brilliant. I could not have done it without you. How was it? He was brilliant. Was he? Yeah, he was all like, yay, yay. I wasn't entirely yay. I know. Carlos, I'm wrong. <laughs> Are you all right? Please don't distract me. But Simon was concentrating so hard on not getting a boner that he was oblivious to what can only be described as quite a serious wardrobe malfunction. What is it? Why is it that big? <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I can't look at it! Oh my god, I gotta cut this whole thing out, man. Oh my god. Oh my god! I can't even watch it! Oh! Oh my god. I love that. Seriously, thank you, Will. I'm so. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! That's what they wanted us to see. That's what the people wanted us to see. I guess so. 
I guess so. Oh. You guys are sick. Sick. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and he's like moving back and forth like, yeah. I have seen too much of this man. Too much of him. Yeah. Oh my god. So grateful. Oh, it was nothing. Just what was left of my dignity. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. And what other guy would have done that for me? I mean, uni's great, but there's no one there like you. Shut up. No, seriously. All I want is a boyfriend like you. I mean, you're funny and you're sweet and you're kind to me. I think I'd be happy if I had someone in my life just like you. Oh, well, here's where he ruins it. What about me? <laughs> no, no, not you. No, no, no someone like you. <laughs> it's so funny. Not you, obviously. <laughs> Come on, let me just go for a drink. Um, no, I'm okay, thanks. I'll just, I'll just wait here, I think. Okay. Hmm. And that's why nice guys turn into dicks. You're a nice guy. Just wait till this camera goes off. And you got me! <laughs> Stop! What? What? Bad. No. Uh oh, what's the wheelchair guy gonna do? Nice one, twat face. Good dancing. Uh, all that whining and complaining for what? Nothing. You're what they call a sanctimonious prick. Yes, well, good to talk to you again, Al. Is that all? No. I hope one day you get serious on this too. Yes. Oh, fuck off, Alistair, you dick. You're a dick. You're a dick. You were great. Yeah, a bit of a weird reaction. It wasn't meant to be funny. It was meant to be glamorous. You're a dick. No, you're a dick. You're a dick. Hey, you're... Come on. Calm down. This is what a good evening. We've got a great show. We're very good <laughs> on money, haven't we, Carl? You know your testicles sticking out. What? Is that why everyone was laughing? Has it been out the whole time? Oh my god, you've been walking behind me, mocking me. You ruined my big night. I thought you liked me, you arsehole. Hey, hey, Claus, it's alright. It's cool. Uh, Carly, listen, please. <laughs> How is he supposed to know? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, poor Simon. Funny looks super sexy. Yeah, I'm dramatic. It's only a pollock. Fuck it out, I'm gonna kill Neil. Didn't you feel a draft? Yeah, it was killing, but <laughs> I thought it was nerves. Oh, God, did you think people saw? Yes! It was eye level for most of the audience. Oh, God, no! No! I suppose you thought that was funny, did you? Well, your little joke's got you in a lot of trouble. Honestly, it wasn't a joke. No. There is nothing funny about testicles, Cooper, as you'll discover tomorrow in my office. What? Sorry, sir. That, that sounds a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> See me tomorrow. Holy crap, man! Wow. It did sound oh weird. God. And talking of weird... Right then. Let's get you out of these clothes. Oh, God. So, so I'm not modeling. Oh, no, 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 no. You are. You are. I had word with the man. The man said... That show finished two minutes ago. Oh. You've been drinking, sir. Oh. Come on, Tom. Let's go get you some fresh air. Oh, you might fucking like on the line with you, John. So we headed home. Simon, having learned at least one thing, never put on speedos in a rush. I mean, why did you oh. wear it in the first place? Carly told me to. Even with your whole sack covered, you'd look ridiculous. Speedos, DMs, top hat and a leash. What maniac had designed that? Who thought, you know what's fashionable? Dressing like an upper-class mental patient. <laughs> you get that bone in inside? No. Oh, well done. But my left bollock was sticking out the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, now I'm lucky. I blame you. All right, guys. How's your ear, Jay? Perfect. That's why I've got to wear this massive bandage. Well, I suppose that's your modelling career, fuck then. He never had a modelling career. Yeah, but I'm not bothered, because I fuck the nurse who looks after me. Yeah, I'll... St John's ambulance lady? Yes. Isn't she Warren Dunkley's nan? No, there was another one that looked like Lucy Pinder. Of course there was. Were you going to this party then? I'm definitely not going. Normally, I think I burst into tears. Oh, what, because you're so unpopular? No, it, Neil, <laughs> because of Charlotte. Oh, what happened with her then? She basically told me I had no chance at all, ever. Yeah, well, I told you that. Yeah, but funny enough, it hurt more coming from her. You know I smoked her once. No, I did not know that. I could have sworn I told you. I think I would have remembered such crushing news. Oh, don't worry, it was after you. That makes it worse. Yeah, no. <laughs> don't worry, it was after you. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like a betrayal, too. Was it just a snog? Neil, please. Yeah, of course, mate, of course. Just a snog. Well, that's something. Uh Ew! <laughs> Look at 
great band. They love that. <laughs> I've learned a few things that week myself. None good or bad. Oh, God. Neil is catnip for pedos. Just because you've only got one kidney doesn't mean you're not a total dick. And Simon has extremely hairy balls. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> they ended it. Did you see that animation at the end? No. I turned my head at the balls. <laughs> they animated it so, like, it animated his balls. And then faded out. Oh, my out. God, no. Oh. Yo, what's wrong with the people that made the show, man? Those actors have yeah. a lot of balls to do that. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I still think my favorite part of that whole show was oh. the wheelchair and the butt. <laughs> like, Will Yeah, face. it's like, but up, oh up, Oh my up, god, up. that killed me. Yeah. Oh, that was so funny. Whew. Yeah, I have, you know what? As soon as they, we end this, we're getting ready to squeak. Are we? Yeah, I can't take it anymore. I'm, I'm sorry for those of you who like the squeak, but this is like a visceral squeak. It's going pretty on. loud. But yeah, that was a really good episode. I'm not going to oh, say gosh. it's the best one, though. I think the best one was the uh, nursing home one. The nursing home and the one where they took that trip. Is this the one where they took the boat out? Yes, yeah. I love that. Yeah. When he punched the fish, season I lost two. It. So, but yeah, both of our those are my two favorites also. So those, and those were both from season two. So season two's <laughs> a real high note for us. What? I real I think my favorite part of the whole episode was he did or the whole series is he didn't know how to how to like stop her from talking. So it's just but I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you love that. You really love oh that. God. Wow. Oh. Okay, so I got some editing to do. Yes. Since, holy Christ. Oh, that was funny. There was a lot of balls. A lot of scrotum. Too many in, balls. A lot of scrotum in that episode. More scrotum than I needed to yeah. see. Um, I really liked Will in that episode. Will was really good. Yeah, I did like Will. Yeah. You're going to usually, like a big episode. Usually I get scene. angry at Will for being like too, like... You know, too much of a supplicant to the girls. I found at the end. Like, he stood up for himself. Like, yeah. She's like, oh, let's go get a drink. He was like, you know what, no. Like, we clearly don't want the same thing. And he's not going to let her, like, yeah. strain him along. Yeah. And be a nice guy. Because they do get the girl. Okay? They do. Do they? Yes. Mm. I'm not a nice guy. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, We beg to defer. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you guys like that. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and we will do another in between. It's probably tonight, but right now we got to take care of the squeak. Okay, squeak, so. and then maybe more in betweeners. Yeah, yes. definitely. Okay, and cotton candy. And cotton candy. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got your cotton candy over From there. From the rodeo. Yeah. See, she didn't even stop. <laughs> she went to get it right away. All right, you guys, have a good one.